Hey, what's up? I'm Selena, and you are behind the scenes with all of our wardrobe. How did Wizards of Waverly Place influence Disney to scrap one of its strictest rules? How did Disney force David Henry to be a part of the show? And what major part does Disney play in Selena Gomez's decision to maybe retire from music? Hi, I'm Janet, and let's get started. No behind the scenes photos. Want to know what gave birth to Wizards of Waverly Place? I'm going through a bunch of old scripts that I have here because we're moving, and uh, it's this show right here, The Amazing O'Malley. Getting a behind-the-scenes look at your favorite shows is one of the best things about living in the age of social media. Actors are usually given free reign to document any non-spoiler behind-the-scenes moments, but it wasn't always like that. Take the cast of Wizards of Waverly Place, for example. The show first went on air the same year iPhones and Twitter first became popular, but Disney didn't exactly warm up to the idea of revealing behind-the-scenes moments to the public. I started Selena Gomez's Twitter. Oh, yeah. You started. That, that's how new it was. Yeah, uh, like I had just gotten on Twitter. The show's creator, Todd J. Greenwald, personally revealed that Disney barred the cast from sharing on set photos. It was interesting, he said, because they were tweeting and taking pictures. And Disney was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. You can't do that. He went on to say that Disney put up these rules like they were all in school, even those of them working behind the scenes. They were specifically told what they could and could not post, and Disney even brought in supervisors to keep an eye on them during filming. It's understandable if you think about it. Social media was still in its youth, and Disney wasn't sure whether the cast would be able to keep the most thrilling moments of the show under wraps, especially since Disney has always been pretty strict about leaking scripts, too. As time went on, the network couldn't stop the Wizards cast from sharing behind the scenes pictures. And even though they broke the rules, Todd thinks breaking the rules actually helped the show. It also didn't hurt that Wizards went on to be the only Disney show to win two Emmys. Three, if you count the one it won for the movie. Wizards' great success might have made Disney realize the genius behind social media, considering they did eventually relax the rules. And we now get to see adorable behind-the-scenes selfies on a regular basis. These days, TV stars are encouraged to tweet during premieres, hold Instagram Q&As, and do other social media-related activities in order to get fans excited to watch. Could you imagine what it might have been like if the cast of Wizards were allowed to post freely back then? Being homeschooled. Hello, students of Danny oh, yeah. Jones Middle School. This is Selena Gomez talking to you. Seeing as the Disney Channel mainly works with children, people tend to wonder whether Disney actors get a free pass from having to attend school. Well, as we've heard from many child stars before, there is no such thing as a golden ticket, and they all still have to finish school behind the scenes. This was no different for the Wizards of Waverly Place cast. The young actors had to balance a tricky schedule of being homeschooled, learning their lines, and show up to set for filming. Even though stars like Miley Cyrus have opened up in the past about how she felt burnt out while having to take on so much at such a young age, something we tend to forget is how much the stars miss out on normal school activities and, ultimately, on finding their identities as young adults. When asked in an interview about being a teenager and developing his high school personality, David Henry, aka Justin Russo, said, Well, being that I went I went to high school for about a month. Uh, I didn't really have time to develop my high school personality mm -hmm. um, because I was homeschooled. The shooting was just way really place the whole time. He went on to joke that because he was homeschooled, he was always the class president, the most popular kid in school, and his class always had perfect attendance. Pretty much best everything. My reunion's awesome. Everyone shows up. And you get to have it literally whenever you want. I have it every year, yeah. and I'm there, and it's great. 100% attendance. Can't complain. In David's case, he didn't just have school and filming to juggle, but also his love for ice hockey, which meant he had an even tighter schedule than some of his co-stars. I was a big ice hockey player, and uh, I, I, would, I would shoot and then go play hockey, and then shoot and then go play hockey. It was, that was my life. We all know life as a student can be more stressful than most people realize. What do you think about Disney Star's schedules? The Disney Contract. When you sign with Disney, you might want to double check the fine print. That's probably what David Henry would tell you, seeing as he was essentially forced to do Wizards of Waverly Place, regardless of whether or not he wanted to. Despite the show turning out to be a hit and David absolutely loving it, he did open up about Disney forcing him to play Justin because of a contract he signed for a different show they ended up scrapping. The show, which would have been called Amazing O'Malley's, would have had David play the lead role in a family of wizards, but not the wizards we got to know and love. Disney ended up scrapping The Amazing O'Malley's due to not wanting another show with a male lead, and David was let go. His plans were to go over to the CBS network, but then Disney reminded him of his contract. Um, and you have to do it. And so- You it, have wait, to Wait, well, oh, you have to do it. 
Why what's, is that? What's the half I, I was under contract, oh, you know, okay. for the other show. David went on to say that it was really interesting for him at the time because he wasn't sure whether he wanted to pursue a career with Disney anymore. In the end, we all know how great Wizards turned out to be, and David acknowledges how blessed he was to be a part of it. It ended up working out, I think, very fortuitously. I got to, you know, be in the show. It was amazing. I got to write Huge for the hit. show yeah. in Huge the third and fourth show. season, which yeah. was which was awesome, and um, and it made some best friends for life. No scandals. Selena Gomez might be the most recognizable star from Wizards of Waverly Place, but the supporting cast was also able to use the show to further their careers. Jake T. Austin, who played Max Russo, left Wizards on good terms and jumped over to ABC Family, another Disney property, to play Jesus Foster on The Fosters. Unfortunately, Jake seemed to have been followed by the child star curse because he eventually got into trouble with the law. Jake narrowly missed a DUI charge as an underage drinker and was then involved in a four-car hit and run and crash the following year. If this wasn't bad enough, Jake arrived backstage at the 2014 Teen Choice Awards and when the person working the door didn't recognize him, he ended up throwing a tantrum that involved swearing, screaming, and throwing stuff at the attendant. Apparently, Jake was heard yelling, don't you know who I am? I'm a presenter. Who the are you? Disney, who had a strict rule against scandals of any kind, ended up firing Jake from the Fosters and recasting his character. This is unacceptable! Despite racking up some majorly bad press, Jake continued to claim that he was the one who decided to walk away from his role as Jesus. In a Twitter post, he claimed the network greatly reduced his role during the third season, and he ended up quitting to pursue other opportunities. Luckily, Jake did end up getting work outside of Disney, having been most notably cast in the 2017 Emoji Movie and an upcoming series called The Rise, in which he'll star alongside fellow Disney alum Mitchell Musso being good all the time. I was working when I was seven, and I definitely sometimes wish that I could have had a different upbringing. As recently as March 2021, Selena Gomez once again opened up about how growing up on Disney affected her mental well-being as an adult. We've seen her take time away from the limelight to focus on herself, and Selena also claims to have given up social media, with her assistant posting everything for her. In the past, Selena talked about how working with Disney prepared her to be a good role model and how she was taught to be perfect at all times. Even though this ended up taking a toll on her, Selena, the sweet person she is, has nothing but praise for Disney. It taught me so much about being a role model, you know? They were very apparent on being perfect. I'm grateful that I had the opportunity because I understand what having a platform means. Despite being grateful, Selena also highlights how the same fantastic opportunity came with a price. There were accounts that were dissecting me down to my body, to my face, to my features, choices I've made. She revealed that she started to only see her flaws whenever she was photographed, and as a result, she created an alternate persona to be the person everyone wanted her to be. When breaking away from Disney, Selena tried hard to avoid a pop star identity that would only be compared to stars like Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift, but she felt like the decision wasn't up to her. Selena said that even though she was growing and changing, she was being managed by her parents, and she was still under Disney's umbrella, which meant she was held to the expectation of being a good girl. She mentioned times when she was crying and asking herself why she wasn't in love with what she was doing. I think the past few years, or hell, decade if you want, I think I was really kind of hurting. Selena said she was forced to be very uncomfortable for a very long time, and she only felt really liberated when she let her mother go as her manager. While the experience was very awkward, Selena likened it to a kid going off to college and said that there were absolutely no hard feelings at all. In fact, her mother even brought her the raunchy script of Spring Breakers, in which Selena played Faith, a corrupted church girl. According to Selena, her mother told her that even though the final season of Wizards was only then airing, the movie would go under the radar, and no one would hear about it. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. The film instantly erupted, and even worse for Selena was both Spring Breakers and Hotel Transylvania ending up premiering the very same day. People were visibly upset, eagerly pointing out that Selena couldn't be a role model and pose in a bikini at the same time. Luckily, despite the critique of many fans, Selena received a lot of praise for using Spring Breakers as her transition from Disney. Even Taylor Swift commented on Selena making her career her own without drastically going off the rails especially after so many years of prioritizing everyone else's opinions over her own. Amazing, for sure. 
She was frustrated when I was frustrated. She was sad when I was sad. Um, but more than anything, my friends stood by my side. When I think they, they visibly saw me in so much pain and they didn't want it for me. Selena said that as a young adult, she had to constantly remind herself that she was in control. Every decision she made since her Disney days was entirely for herself. I knew I couldn't go on unless I learned to listen to my body and mind when I really needed help, she said. Once I stopped and accepted my vulnerability and decided to share my story with people, that's when I felt a release. Still, despite how far she's come, Selena is still not entirely free from her Disney past. In her own words, she still lives with a haunting feeling that people still view her as a Disney girl. At this point, Selena sees it as something she unfortunately has to live with, and it's for this reason that she'll continuously work on being herself and only doing things that she thinks will make a real impact on the world. In a recent interview with Vogue, Selena commented on maybe releasing one more big album before deciding to retire. And since then, celebrities like Cardi B have spoken out about wanting her to reconsider. What do you think? Will Selena really end up retiring? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching.